Hello, um, come back with a new video on four seeds that are beginning to emerge. These are all um, maple tree seeds. Here, I'll put a uh, chopstick in so you can see that. Just to give you a, a reference for size, here is a colorful key that you can... I'll bring it down so you can see just how small the seed is. And so this is a maple tree seed. I'll spin it around. It's just starting to pop out of the casing. I don't want to disturb it uh, too much. I just noticed these today. I'll move this one out of the shot and bring in the next one, this one has fully lost its casing. I can actually go in here and pick it up. It shed the casing, which I'll just leave it in there. I'll set it back down here, and it's starting to stand up. It's another maple tree seed, and... It was relatively small. Um, you can see here, put a, my finger in just one knuckle. Uh, move that one out the way. And bring this one in. You can see it's starting to pop out of the casing. I have these, if you see here, this little insect eggshell, I have these insect eggshells in all of my soil. Most of my tree seeds I've planted in a mix of this bark and uh, gardening soil, just regular gardening soil. Nothing special, just pine bark mulch, little chunky and barky mulch. And all of my seeds have always uh, sprouted. And I'll bring in this next one. You can see it's starting to shed that casing. I don't ever remove. I've seen videos where people say that you should or you have to remove them or you got to put them in the refrigerator. I'm going to tell you, I, I lay these things down. Sometimes I'll lay them on top of the soil. Uh, all of these were buried in and they're actually pushing themselves up to the top and out of the soil on their own. And um, I do that just to make sure the roots get down in there. They don't have to work too hard, that they're already there. So those four, there's a, one again. This is the first one. I had thought that these were just simple uh, silver maples. But then all of the seeds that I've collected, I just find them laying around on the ground when I'm out walking. They're all different sizes and shapes, but they're all that same helicopter. And I've collected other types of seeds as well. Some of them I'm not even sure what type of tree it is. I have to go back. I've collected plum tree, two types of plum tree seeds and uh, another uh, ornamental, I've got a pine tree. So as an update, for my seeds that have sprouted. Here is my um, black pine. And this is what it looks like now. It's starting to, it, it popped off that little seeding, seedling case that was on top of it. I don't even know where it is. I looked through this soil and I couldn't find it, but that's what it looks like now. So. As of now, I have those five. Let me bring another one and keep putting it back in the shot. These five that are now uh, growing and with minimal effort, no effort on my part, I just keep them watered. It's been rather hot on the East Coast, and so I make sure to keep them watered. And I look forward to finding out what type of maple trees these are and uh, I'm really excited about this black pine because it's outside of my willow oak. I have a willow oak tree. Matter of fact, I'll go get it.
and so you can see my willow oak that I, I'm growing from seed. It's a seed that my daughter Cheyenne collected while she was out. Excuse the noise. I'm about to have to move the camera to get this shot. This is a pretty good tree. It's about a half a foot right now, but this is a willow oak that's growing from seed. When it sprouted last year, it did not completely lose the acorn and the bottom of the trunk, the base of the trunk was turned. It's, let me see if there's any way I can show you without disrupting. I don't want to. Yeah, I'll show you here. Yeah, it's, it's actually, you should be able to see it. If you look at the base, let me turn. See the base of the tree? There's a rock there. And this tree is bent at a, like a chicane. Let me move this moss out the way. Can you see that? And what had happened is when the tree first sprouted, the acorn was stuck and the trunk of the tree grew around the acorn and then up. So it's got that wicked turning, but I say it's pretty unique. So I still let the tree just grow. And as it gets bigger and thicker, I will um, decide how to uh, incorporate that into the design as the tree gets older it's in its uh second year of um of growing leaves last year's first leaves that it grew out were warped they were um some of them instead of being the oblong and pointed they were oblong but they were um turned at like right angles i'd never seen a um a willow oak leaf look like that before but those are like those are six trees that I'm working with right now that I grew from seed and I do not have a green thumb by any stretch of the imagination so if I'm having any success I would dare say anybody can so um I hope you enjoyed that and have a nice evening